the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I just want to make sure if we, if we get anything else out of it, the, the point is the history, if the history, and I'm thinking about talking about the modern day, the, the culture war that's going on and, and how people sit there and say that the, um, the history makes the children feel bad. I just want to, I just want to make sure now I edit this piece of my video. What I want to be able to say is that if history makes children feel bad, so therefore we want to ban books and we want to make sure we don't do any CRT because somebody told us that it teaches people the agenda of how to hate other people or be hated by other people. I'm going to say I, what I got out of this is let's, instead of trying to hide history if you can, you know, with the cell phone and the computers, your children are going to get the history no matter what. Even if you, even the false narrative and the lies that we want to right, train ourselves to be, the children are going to get the history. And the children will feel bad and disgusted about the history. But what we, I think, is an opportunity to start saying is, hey, that behavior, not acceptable to God. That behavior, jeopardize anybody who lived that period, those periods, and died in those periods in jeopardy of their soul. Uh, not making it to heaven, but to hell. Or even the lake of fire. Yeah. But what I like to say, let's look, let's check this out. I think it makes sense. Even for you as an individual, is your history Instead of sitting there feeling condemned about your history, turn it into a praise report of saying, God snatched me from the fire. God sent his son and he is forgiven. But I can't justify bad behavior. You can't justify bad behavior. No way you can. You can sit there and do all you want, but you can't. But you can say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I know that he has forgiven me of my sin. He has cast it as far as the east and the west. And I have repented. I haven't arrived. I still can slip. I still can stumble. But I don't practice bad behavior anymore. I'm moving away from bad behavior. I'm moving away from hate. I'm moving away from lying. I'm moving away from cheating. I'm moving away from the things that, that God hates and moving toward the things that God loves. I'm moving away from corrupt fruit to bearing good fruit. And I can only bear that because of him. So yes, I got a bad, we as a people, we as a nation, we as a group of people have some history that, that makes us good, make you feel bad. But the praise report is the blood of Jesus has forgiven me of my sins of the past. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to break it down into segments, 25, A, B, through whatever it's going to end up to be. But that's what we're going to do. And also, don't forget, Happy Mother's Day. This particular week, this session, is going into the day of Mother's Day. So I wish all of you Happy Mother's Day. And uh, appreciate them for what they have done. But always remember, appreciate God for sending His Son. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Number 622. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee, and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee, Come on, yeah. and be gracious unto thee. Yes. The Lord lift up his countenance. Uh -huh. one. Yes. Give me peace. Yes. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. 
he will bless them. And, and the thing we're trying to say is, first of all, those who hate it's Jews. <laughs> and look what God, look what, what God thought yeah. uh, when he was setting up the, the priestly uh, functional system. Is everything he was doing was to demonstrate, I want to bless you. You know, <laughs> and that's something. Even in Genesis, when he first brought man on the scene, what he said, let us make man our image, you know, and our likeness, and then let's bless them. <laughs> that, that's, that's what God wants to do to his children. Uh, and that's just another reminder that that's what he wants. He wants to bless you. He want, and, and you know that one about that 25 it said, and the Lord makes his face shine upon thee. It reminded me of Isaiah 60 we read last week, where it says, Rise and shine, for the light has come. <laughs> and the glory of the Lord has risen, what? Upon thee. <laughs> the day of Pentecost. What, what do you think the day of Pentecost was? You, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, the coming of the Holy Spirit. That's why you're trying to say a tree is known by its fruit. Because if you get the glory of God on you, you don't have this hate. You don't have this 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 selfishness. People, I don't, I know people have been taught to, to rest on these things, to do better, you know, power, power, all those power. That's all I want. But in the end, it's vain glory. To, to, to take it on a whole other level, mm. you know, the sins of your past have been paid for. There's nothing to be so ashamed of to the point to where you, you are vengeful toward others. Mm. In fact, mm. the things of the past are used as a power to change those who are present. Wow. Yes, so the, the, the guilt and the shame that you have for a, a life lived, an ungodly life lived, are the power that God uses to free those who are presently yoked up to that. Come on now. And Come on. there is no shame in it. There is glory in it. There is power in it. Yes. There is the ability to destroy yokes. Mm. The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. And the word of our testimony. The words of their testimony. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. There is the power. Mm. When God says he takes the small things, the abased things. Yes, sir. To dumbfound those <laughs> who are wise. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's the things that 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 are inside. It's 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 those weapons it's, that are, are are hidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That are effective. Yeah, because the fact is, the history likes to see here in the world system. It likes to keep keep notes, keep records, and and, 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 and continue to pound you down for your past mistakes yeah. your your behavior you know what i mean it, it just loves to do that and it, it loves to bring back anytime you get out of your lane it wants to show how bad you are yeah. you know but the gospel is that now i don't my fact i don't think about when you were saying it is you instead of trying to defend your past behavior start praising god for forgiveness of those behavior because there's no there's no well you can't justify no right there, there's no justification for anything no. that is done that's ungodly come on now. other than the accepting the accepting and belief and faith in yeshua that he forgave and that, yeah that is the key yes that sir. is the freedom that Ooh. is the repentiveness yes of yes. that. That's the turning away. Yes, and sir. The power and the authority. 
that has been given and poured and, and, and to shed out into mankind only comes through that. It is true, you, right? You, there's things that you know, I just don't openly just have conversations mm. about the, the, the ungodly things that I've done in my life. And Come I on, know. Man. Come on. Come on. But when the spirit moves and the situation presents itself, there is no shame. Come on now. Because it's a and, and sharing the victory that has been given to me, not by myself. Nope. You couldn't pay. The authority and power of God that has been yeah. shed around on me. It, and, <laughs> and, and, and there is no, no, no difference. No respect yes. a person that if he did it for me, he can <laughs> do, do it, it for you. And I <laughs> am a living testimony. I love it. I love it. Because you think about it is, if he did it, that, that key word you just said to people, this is what he just said, because that applies to you and applies to me. If he did it for you, if he did it for somebody who had a bad history, He'll do it for you. In other words, it's, it, 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 there's no limit of the depth of which God can give his grace and his mercy and his forgiveness to. Now, what people need to understand is to be able to sit there and tell somebody, yep, yeah, you're right, I was, I was bad. Yeah, I was, I was, at, I was at the, if you talk about a trash can and the, the, the grime at the bottom of the trash can, that, that's where I was at. That's me, that's me. But, but, but the love of God is that he forgave me, even if I was at the lowest, the grimness of the, of the container, he forgave me. And now, that also means, my praise is, I changed, I repented. I'm not trying, I'm not still doing. And I think that's remember what Paul was saying that, he said, it, 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 this grace is for you to sin, no, God forbid. That's not, that's not, you missed the whole point there. Because what he's trying to say is, despite of everything that I have done, and the forgiveness he's given me, now it's for me to move in the right direction. Not the wrong direction. Not to maintain the direction I was on. Not to maintain the path. But I think that's what we talk about when we talk about the history, right? The difference is, you don't make you should be able to tell your children, oh man, I should I think all the good. You should be able to tell your children, our parents did some bad things. But the grace of God, the mercy of God, is giving us an opportunity to do the right thing. Repent from those things that have happened. And he has forgiven those who repented. And he want them to walk. Hopefully they repent and move in the right direction but I just want you I don't want you to feel bad about what they did I want you to praise God for what he did for or in spite of the bad behavior he has forgiven those who ask for forgiveness if grandpa was part of that group but if grandpa turns his life over to God <laughs> we'll see him in heaven but if he didn't if he, if he he died in his sin, and that's what the Bible talks about all of us, right? If you want to die in your sin, then you get what you deserve. Because the grace is right there, right? There's, there's your hope, all of our salvation, every last one of us who's listening, is not about, it's a blessing to be forgiven for transgression. It is a blessing to be able to turn away from, repent from those bad things. That's where the key comes in. That's why the Bible says a tree is known by its fruit, isn't it? Yeah. You know, because you sit there, it's not just, it's, people in the other sense, gospel. The gospel is not, it's not about just forgiving of your transgressions. It's about you changing from the walk that you have. And yes, you will make stumbles. And I think that's why we need grace, correct? Cause, Cause, you're gonna. Yes, you're gonna stumble. But if you are, your intention is to stay with the bad behavior, or your intention to repent and move to a good behavior, and He will help all of us. 
each individual. Move into a positive behavior where you love one another. And if you start focusing on loving one another or love your neighbor as yourself, right? The great commandment. That, that's what he's been pointing for us to do, people. It's, it's, so, it's, it's very simple because, <laughs> you know, sin is sin. Sin is sin. Sin is sin. Oh, um, there's no levels. Come on, bro. There's no levels of sin. And the fact of the matter is, like he said, there's nothing new. Nothing there's new. Nothing. So no. all the sins that have been committed, that, that are being committed, have been committed. Mm -hmm. The glory is that there is no uh, child of God that has not experienced one of those. Exactly. And so the glory is that there's examples Woo. for everybody. Come on. Come on. There is living examples yeah. of the glory of God yes. to be delivered Come from on. them all. Yes. There, there, there is a testimony for every type of sin. Mm -hmm. that has been done on this earth. Yes. There has been a regenerated spirit. Come on, brother. Come on. That came from, that birthed from, that was delivered from. Yes. That has victory over. Come that on. is 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 snatching yes. others. Yes. Reconciling others who have experienced some of the same things. Yes. that they have gone and come exactly. through. And exactly. so that is the power of that. And so when these people who have, have, have lived a life that brought about these atrocities, accept Yeshua as their mm -hmm. Lord and Savior, then that is the key to delivering all these others from that. That's the, oh wow. Yes. And it's it's not banning books. It's not changing history. It is the words of the testimony of how those who were delivered from that Come on. <laughs> will will change yes. these minds. Yes. And so we got to we have to move past. Yeah. This these these worldly things and look yeah. at those things that are above yeah and and and, and, and understand that Woo. Woo. everyone born in this flesh yes has a a a moment mm. in a twinkling of an eye and mm. and where they will be transformed from this the controls of this physical realm Yes, sir. And to an eternal realm. Wow. And an eternal mm. existence. Yeah. And, and, and I believe that that is something that we've gotten away from. Oh, no, all right. That because I think we're too busy trying to cover it up, right? <laughs> and and, it, and it's, it goes not only in a nation perspective, family perspective. Remember, they use the old term, what goes in this house stays in this house. Yes. So, so all you're doing is you, you, you're not doing it. You're not changing behavior. You're not even teaching people the importance of changing behavior yeah. and, 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 and repenting. You just, you learn the behavior of covering it up. I mean, you know, and, and, and that's not going to change something. And I think, you know, like some people are mad about the people coming out of the closet. See, they were happy as long as you stayed in the closet. Yeah. See, long as you stay in the closet, then we, we feel comfortable. But you're coming out of the closet. Yeah. Why? Because you won't try, we as a people, as a group, won't try to focus on the change of behavior through the repentance and the power of God. That's what we do ourselves. This is the way we go to church, people. I mean, I'm just telling you, this is the way we go to church. 
But then when we go home, we act like a devil. We act like a fool. We act like we act like the world. Yeah. That means you 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 even teaching your children the wrong way. You're not Luke teaching them to go the way. That's not huh? life. Life of being lukewarm. And and you know God has no desire of anyone mm. in that position. It's, it, it says he'd rather. <laughs> Yeah. He'd rather you, you be just a pure sinner. He did, right. Be cold or hot. Let people know who you are. You know you're going to hell, you know you're going to hell. But don't be trying to be this 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 wolf in sheep clothing. I think I think it it, it is it is God can hmm. use someone yeah. who is who is hot. And he can use someone who is cold. Yeah. But to yeah. have somebody lukewarm yeah. is an abomination because it makes both sides, mm. you know, it, it, it is, it is like it says, you'll choose one and hate the other. Yeah. And then yeah. the next day, it'll be vice versa. It'll be vice versa. So, yeah. you know, what, what are you doing? That's like, that's like into, I mean, you, you, you're going to a, a church and you want other people to join, but all you talk about is the bad things that are going in there. But you should come to my church. Come, come to my church. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want, to, I want yeah. to invite you to come out after you just talk about everybody in there. <laughs> or and the worst part is to 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 show your bad your your, your bad behavior, your 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 disposition in life. And then you sit there and say, come to church. And that's why I think when you talk about people not coming to church, yeah. is I'm looking at you. What is it doing you? <laughs> How is it benefiting you? Because yeah. yeah. uh, if it ain't benefiting you, why I need to go? Yeah, you, that's like those, huh? like those women who had these babies. <laughs> Man, I don't get no sleep. I'm always tired. Look at my eyes, bags under my eyes. Baby always crying. I just don't get no rest. But you should have a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause they, 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 yeah, cause remember I think a long time ago just being that they'd be putting the baby in the stroller and they and, and walking down the street so everybody can see the yeah. baby and all that stuff. But they don't tell about uh have a child that <laughs> that's why I got I'm glad I got a mom. <laughs> I always bother me. I don't get no rest. I can't do nothing. This child up under me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that would tell people, no, I'll say, no, you go ahead. I love your baby. It's cute and pretty, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But I ain't ready for it yet. Yep. But that, that's that's right. So it's painting. It's people looking at your fruit. It's what they're looking at. Yeah. And why, if they don't see no change, they don't see you at least, because you know, I, people can tell you when you're trying, you know that? When you're trying to do right, people can tell that. But if you not trying, you continue to keep the same attitude, behavior toward life, toward people, then is Christ in you? And that's why I think when it's some of that blessing we just read, let me, it, matter of fact, go back to it real quick. Because I thought it was interesting, he was showing that there's a, a a pattern of behavior that is supposed to be seen. The, let's show it here. Where am I? Where's my cursor? Over right there it is. You think about it, it, it does line up with the uh, Isaiah 6, 60 verse 1, but I like the fact is that 25, the Lord makes his face shine upon thee. In other words, there should be a con your countenance should show Christ, should show God, should show the Holy Spirit, should sh you your continent. You know when Stephen was stoned, right? They they said he looked like an angel. And 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 he had a peace about him. You know, if, if you have somebody that's just stressed out all the time, you know, you tend to wonder, <laughs> you know, are, are you believing? Is your is your faith 
and the redemptive work of God because there should be peace there. Your there peace should be should peace. Have a peace that surpasses all understanding. Come on now. It should be exactly. guarding your heart and mind through Yeshua. I'm a <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you, you know, lift yourself up. Understand who you are. What you actually have and walk in that thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's 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 not the nature of man. The nature of man want a pity party. They want other folks to join in. Yeah, my life is just as messed up too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if you think your life is bad, let me tell you about what I'm going through. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and the thing, the other thing too, the message and understanding, like it says, study show yourself approved to who? God. To the, God. We our ministries, people listen, ministries should be teaching all to seek approval from God, not man. We we have tried. That's what we have done. We have put oh, ourselves yeah. into the place about this of world. God. It's about this world. Hmm. It's all about this world. We want riches. We want status. We want the the best things of this world. Hmm. And so the 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 emphasis is on living a victorious Christian life. But it's more so about having things in this world. In this world. Having yeah. access to things in this world. Yeah. That's not what this is about. No, th those are byproducts. No, that's, yeah. Come on. No, th th those are, are things that, that I will bless you with. Come on. But it takes it, it, to, to truly do this. That's not your priority. No, no. Your priority is learning who our Father is, mm. who our Lord and Savior is. All the blessings Come on. are tied up in that. Yes, when sir. When you learn that, then you will learn who you are mm. and will be able to love yourself unconditionally. Unconditionally which will give you the ability to love others mm. unconditionally. Yes, sir. And the favor of God will elevate you in and of itself because- Exactly, yeah. cannot be that person and not excel. There's, there's no way. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.